Hello everyone, and welcome to this video for Physics 132, which will introduce the principles of lenses that you will need as part of your preparation for Unit 2. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what a lens is and describe the two kinds of lenses, converging and diverging. Describe what they do and how these two types of lenses are different. You should be able to define focal length and focal point for any lens. And you should be able to describe the idea behind the thin lens approximation. Before we begin, a note on vocabulary. Optics is one of the oldest sub-branches of physics. Isaac Newton, in addition to his famous Principia, in which he detailed his famous laws of motion, wrote a book on optics in 1704. Over the centuries, optics has picked up a lot of vocabulary. Even today, however, optics remains a critical and ever-expanding field of science with applications through imaging to every other discipline. For example, CAT scans, electron microscopes, and many other imaging devices depend upon the principles of optics. Therefore, learning the vocabulary is important and part of this prep is to help you learn some of it before we begin using it in class. Resources are available throughout your homework to help you with this. So let's get started with the fundamental question of what is a lens and what types of lenses are there? What is a lens? A lens is a piece of transparent material designed to take incoming parallel photons and either bend them to a point, which we call a converging lens, which looks something like this, where you have incoming parallel light rays, incoming parallel photons from the right, passing into the lens and converging to a point on the left. A common application that you might have experienced with this is taking a regular magnifying glass and focusing the sun's light to a point. The incoming light from the sun is effectively parallel and the magnifying glass focuses it to a point. The other thing a lens can do is spread incoming parallel photons as if they came from a point. This is known as a diverging lens. Here is a picture of an example of a diverging lens. Now I'm going to dim it a little bit to make things a little bit easier to see. And if we trace each of the outgoing light rays back towards the source on the right, we see that the outgoing rays intersect at this point. So as the light moves from right to left, it, when the light passes through the lens, the light spreads out. And it, from the left side, it appears that the light originated at this point. A common application of diverging lenses is on your face if you happen to be nearsighted. The glasses you're wearing if you're nearsighted are a diverging lens. So let's talk a little bit about the properties of converging versus diverging lenses. Converging lenses are always thicker at the center than at the edges. So any lens that is thicker in the middle than near the edges will be converging. On the flip side, diverging lenses are thicker at the edges than they are in the middle. Here's a couple of shapes that are examples of diverging lenses. You don't need to know the names of these particular shapes. You just need to know that converging lenses are thicker at the middle and diverging lenses are thicker at the edges. So now we know what lenses are, let's move on to probably the most important property of lens, the focal length and focal points. So here's our two lenses, the converging lens on the left and the diverging lens on the right. In both cases, you can see the light coming from the right, passing through the lens on its way to the left. The focal point is defined as the point at which the parallel photons either converge or appear to. Meanwhile, the focal length is the distance from the center of the lens to that point. Since the focal length is a distance, the unit of focal length is meters. So for the converging lens, this point where the light rays, where the photons, appear to intersect is the focal point. 
Meanwhile, for the diverging lens, we trace the rays back through the lens, and they appear to come from this point behind the lens. This is the focal point of a diverging lens. We always measure the focal length from the center of the lens to the focal point. So you can see it here on the left for the converging lens, and here on the right for the diverging lens. Every lens has only one focal length, but two focal points, with one on each side. So here we can see the full setup for a converging lens. Now in this case, we've got the light coming in from the left and moving towards the right. We can see the two different focal points, one on each side of the lens, each a focal length from the center of the lens. And these two focal lengths are the same. Similarly, for a diverging lens, we have two focal points, one on each side of the lens, each the focal length from the center. The convention is that focal lengths for converging lenses are positive, while diverging lenses have negative focal lengths. In addition to a lot of vocabulary, optics also has a lot of sign conventions that I am expecting you to learn from this prep. Finally, let's move on to the thin lens approximation. In a real lens, light will bend at each surface. So the light will bend as it goes from the air to whatever material, say glass, the lens is made of, and then it will bend again by Snell's law when the light moves from the glass back into the air. We, however, will assume that the lens is very, very thin. In particular, what do we mean by thin? We mean that the thickness of the lens is very small relative to the focal length. Under this approximation, it's essentially as if all the light bending happens at the center. Now, this is not what actually happens. Remember, the light does bend at each interface, air to glass and glass to air. However, if the lens is very thin, these two interfaces are so close together and so close to the center of the lens that we can ignore it. For this thin lens approximation, and also because I'm terrible at drawing lenses, I will occasionally represent a converging lens with these types of arrows, and a diverging lens with arrows that point the other way. These arrow tips are supposed to suggest to you the shape of the lenses themselves. So the arrows going as they are on the top sort of suggest a converging lens, while arrows that go this way on the bottom suggest a diverging lens. This is just to make things easier to draw. So in summary, a lens is a transparent material that either bends parallel light towards a focal point, in the case of a converging lens, or bends the light away in such a way that it appears to originate from a point in the case of a diverging lens. Each lens has two focal points, one on each side of the lens, because I can, of course, send the light through the lens either from the left or from the right. And we've seen examples of light traveling both ways in this video. So there are two focal points, one on each side. Focal lengths for converging lenses are positive, and focal lengths for diverging lenses are by convention negative. In reality, light bends at each surface of the lens. However, if the lens is thin relative to the focal lengths, then we can treat all of the bending as happening at the center of the lens. This is known as the thin lens approximation. This concludes this video.